is a small swatch to learn the Franco set and sleeve method. It results in four shoulder pieces, two for the back shoulders and two for the front shoulders. Along the way, two of the shoulders are connected to form the back and sleeve caps are begun. The result is a set in sleeve that ends in one piece and can be knitted in the round for the body of the sweater. This technique will be used for the Knit With Fall 2023 Knit Along. The materials I have for this swatch is about four grams of yarn. I need two sources, so these are two grams each, some scissors, some stitch markers, and I'm going to use a needle size appropriate for the yarn. I recommend a worsted weight smooth yarn that's a wool or wool blend. This is 100% wool. We're going to cast on six stitches. The instructions will tell you to mark your right shoulder with a stitch marker that's going to be important and so make sure it is a locking stitch marker that won't fall off. Put that aside and make sure that uh, we do the same thing with our second source of yarn, cast on six stitches. We're good to go. We are done with the cast on. This is row one. This is considered the right side, even though you are seeing the bumpy side of a long tail cast on, this is still considered the right side of the work. We have our right shoulder and our left shoulder. We're going to just knit across. We're done with the left shoulder. Let's begin the right. Make sure you have the correct source yarn since you have two source yarns and knit across. There we go. So this is the right shoulder, left shoulder. We're going to purl across the right shoulder. Still six stitches. Short rows do not change the stitch count. All right, we're going to do a wrap and turn short row. All short rows have a, typically have a treatment of the stitch between where you're gonna stop knitting, we're going to only knit three with the stitch next to it. Because if you just turn right here between these two stitches, it will cause a gap in the fabric. So you want a treatment that connect those two stitches. And this particular treatment is a wrap and turn. So let's purl the first three stitches and I'll show you how we wrap and turn. If you're familiar with wrap and turn, you can skip ahead. All right. So we've knit our three stitches and we want to wrap this stitch. Our yarn is in front. So let's slip the stitch over, move the yarn in back, slip the stitch back, and there we go. We have a wrap around this stitch. If you're not familiar with short rows, it might be helpful for you to mark that wrap so you can see it better. So I'm going to mark it. That will help you because there's a second step and you have to pick up the wrap and knit it. But once we've knit our three stitches, we're not going to knit these three, we're done. Okay, we have turned the work. 
These are the stitches we've skipped. And, and we're gonna finish this uh, left shoulder by knitting the rest. Move that aside, we're done with that. Now we wanna do the same thing for the right shoulder. We wanna knit just half the stitches. So let's knit three. This time we're knitting, so our yarn's in the back. We wanna move the yarn forward, slip the stitch, move the, slip the yarn, the stitch back. And now we have a nice little wrap around this stitch. And it's a good idea to mark it if you're not familiar with short rows. We finished the wrap on the left shoulder. We've turned the work and now we need to purl to the inside edge to finish the left shoulder. All right, we move back to the right shoulder. We have a wrap there. We're gonna purl back and we're gonna pick up the wrap. So this is a second step, step to a wrap and turn. Purled three stitches, and there's our wrap. When you put a stitch mark on it, it's awfully easy to see it. We're gonna remove that. And I prefer to find the part of the wrap from the back to pick it up, put it on the needle, and then I will purl the wrap with the stitch that accompanies it. Okay, we now are ready to do row three. We're going to knit to the end, which means knitting both the left shoulder and the right shoulder, but we still have a wrap to pick up here, and I put my marker in there so I don't forget it. So let's knit to the end of the left shoulder. Still six stitches, remember uh, short rows, do not change your stitch count. Move this out of the way to do the right side. We're gonna knit three stitches and then we are going to collect the wrap. Oops. In the wrap, in the stitch. Let's let my fingers do some help to get that through. And there we go. And now we can take off this stitch marker for the wrap. We don't need that any longer. And we finish the row three. We have turned to uh, the wrong side of the work, the purl side in this case. And this is row four. And all we do is purl to the end. All done with row four. And after row four in this swatch pattern, we will no longer need the yarn that's attached to your right shoulder. So we can clip that, leaving enough to weave in the ends. There we go. So we do have two ends on here, and we're gonna continue with this yarn. Okay, we are ready to do row five. In row five, we are going to connect the, the right and left shoulders by adding some stitches in between. So the first thing we're going to do is knit across the left shoulder and we're going to do a cable cast on to add 19 stitches. So let's begin. Six stitches. All right, in order to do a cable cast on, we do need to turn this left shoulder to its wrong side. And now we have our working yarn and we can do a cable cast on, which means going between these two stitches, getting a loop, and I like to twist it to put it on. There's one, 
We need to do 19 of these between the two stitches, two. And don't do it a little bit loosely because you do need to get that uh, needle in between them. Three. And now we need to connect it to our right shoulder. So we can turn and we are ready to knit across the right shoulder. Here we go. Perfect. I've laid a separate swatch I've done on this mannequin so I can demonstrate how this piece works with the top. So we have um, your shoulder here and this uh, cast on edge is going to be the seam of your shoulder. So we have done the back right shoulder we're going to pick up stitches along here and then we will do the front right shoulder. So you can see that these two shoulders, back shoulders in this case, are now attached by the 19 stitches and the 19 stitches will be where the collar is picked up. Now we have completed row five and we are done with the source yarn for the right side as well so we can uh, clip that. At this point, we are going to uh, start the other set of shoulders by casting, picking up stitches along the cast on edge. So if you would like to weave in some of these ends, there's four ends because we had two sources of yarn, that might be helpful for you to get that yarn out of the way. The instructions are going to tell you to have your wrong side of the work facing, but the left shoulder is where you're going to start to pick up the stitches. And the long part of the needle coming out of this left shoulder, you're going to use that to pick up these stitches. So you're going to go here and pick up each of the six stitches. I'm going to use my blocked piece to show you where we're going to pick up the stitches because it's easier to see it on the right side. So this is the first place and it's kind of in the selvage. So let's see if I can spread this out a little bit. See that V there? And there we go. All right, then we're going to look at this next one. And if you need to spread it out, that's perfectly fine. Spread it out a little bit. There we go. Next one. Pick up six stitches. Next one. Next one. And then the final one. Now this final one's a little hard to see. So let's pull it out so we can see that.
Okay, let's take a look at our work. We have our right shoulder, our left shoulder, and we have uh, picked up stitches along the cast on edge. You can barely tell. I put a marker to indicate where the seam is. That's almost invisible. So we're working in this direction now, doing the front shoulders the exact way we did the back. I'm going to turn the work and purl. Right shoulder, left shoulder. I've just finished the short row series for row two and finished with row three.
Again, we have our right side, our left side, our little seam from the back shoulders to the front. We are now going to knit across the right shoulder and begin the left. We're going to do an SSK, pick up all the stitches on the sleeve cap, knit two together, go across and repeat for the other sleeve cap. We also need to place markers at the edges of the sleeve cap because we're going to be doing uh, increases to make the sleeve caps bigger. Okay, now the instructions will tell you when to do increases between the sleeve caps, sometimes between these two stitch markers, sometimes on the outside and the inside of the stitch markers. And for the front, we will slowly add on stitches 
to build a neckline and eventually you will join these two sides to knit in the round.